The default colors you have to choose from upon opening a Vectorworks default file are white and black. Those are fairly boring options. Well, we can fix this. If you tap the color chip like I did there on the attributes palette, you'll notice another panel opens up. In this panel, we'll just see a white color chip and a black color chip, but you will also notice that down at the bottom, you have these three horizontal bars titled Active Document, Classic Vectorworks Colors, and Standard Vectorworks Colors. Subtly, we'll notice that the Active Document is selected right now, but if we select the other panel, there we go. There's a lot more interest. A lot of the Classic Vectorworks Colors are available there. So we selected the Classic Palette, and then let's just go ahead and choose a nice bright color. We've chosen that fill color, blue. We notice that none of the objects changed their color because those weren't selected. But if we create a new object, given that the blue is selected as the default color currently in your attributes palette, because no other objects are selected, when you create that new object, you'll notice that it takes the attributes of the blue color you picked from your new color palette. So if you select that color chip one more time to go to your color palette, we'll notice that classic Vectorworks colors is now selected. And if you go back to your active document, you notice that you have your white and your black, but you'll also have the blue because you use the blue in your file. It is now part of your active document.